Spider-Man Far From Home is the latest Spider-Man adventure, once again starring Tom Holland as Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. It's the second one we've had in the MCU so far. Peter Parker and his friends from high school go on a summer vacation to Europe. Peter has these big plans to tell MJ how he feels about her, but pretty soon the vacation is interrupted by the arrival of these elemental creatures who start attacking the place. So Peter, as Spider-Man, has to step up and alongside Mysterio, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, have to put a stop to these elemental creatures and save the world. I was really excited for this film because I I love Spider-Man Homecoming, I love Tom Holland as Spider-Man, I love the look of the premise, Mysterio, all of it looked great to me. And overall, Spider-Man Far From Home, it was alright. I'm just joking, it was actually really really awesome. I had such a great time with this film, from beginning to end, there was not a single dull moment for me, it was constantly entertaining, constantly doing things for me, and just so you know, this video is going to be very spoiler free, which means it's going to be kind of difficult to talk about certain parts of the film. What is it with Marvel doing two films in a row that are hard to talk about without spoilers? But I'll try my best. Tom Holland is once again just so good as Peter Parker. This version of Peter Parker is easily my favourite one because of the high school element. It's the endearing high school quality of both Peter Parker and this film that makes it just so, well, endearing and so fun to watch. Seeing Peter Parker struggle with high school and teenager problems, his big thing in this film is telling MJ how he feels about her. He doesn't want to be Spider-Man all the time for this vacation. He actually doesn't want to be Spider-Man at all in this vacation. He just wants to go, have a good time, and tell the girl he likes how he feels about her. And you just connect to it on that front because it's so relatable, just being a teenager and having those awkward phases, those coming of age phases. It really is a teen romance film that every once in a while turns into a superhero film. And I just love how it blends those two elements together. The film's really hysterical as well. The camaraderie between the characters was good. Some of the jokes that the characters have between each other are really funny. Some of the jokes they have about the snap, which they call the blip in this film. They were really good. The film had me chuckling quite a lot throughout it. But I just can't gush enough about the teen romance elements in this film and how well they work. Tom Holland and Zendaya have great chemistry. There's some really nice, awkward moments between them, but awkward in the endearing way again. I'm going to keep saying endearing because it's the right word to use. And you really root for them to get together. So as a romance film, it just completely works on that front. And some of the scenes they have together, some of the dialogue exchanges were really sweet and really heartfelt. And there was a couple of times where I was like, oh my god, am I, am I tearing up a little bit? <laughs> I'm not even joking, that's how well done the teen romance was in here. But like I said, it does turn into a superhero film because it is a Spider-Man film after all. And when it turns into a superhero film, it is also extremely entertaining. When Spider-Man's swinging around doing his Spider-Man things, it's reliably entertaining. And it taking place in different countries throughout the film makes it a lot more fresh than the other Spider-Man films as well. I know some people were complaining about that when they first announced it. They were like, oh, you can't have Spider-Man in different countries. He's a friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. I love the fact that they go to different countries. It makes it feel fresh, makes it feel different. And don't we want fresh things in these big blockbuster tentpole films? Don't we want to see new elements brought to them? Exactly. I loved it. I love seeing Spider-Man swinging around London, Venice and Prague, everywhere they go during Europe. It was cool. Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio, as expected, was great. And the chemistry between him and Tom Holland was surprisingly good as well. It's kind of like a cool uncle kind of relationship when Mysterio is sitting down talking with Peter Parker and Peter Parker is explaining his problems to him and when they're teaming up to fight the elementals, that was really entertaining. And Mysterio as a powered being was entertaining as well. Seeing him fight the elementals with his technology, the lasers coming out of his hands, the fishball head, the flying around, the costume, that was all interesting and Jake Gyllenhaal just does a great job with the performance and he fits into the MCU very very well. I saw a lot of people say this film's really unexpected and you should go in knowing little about it and the film wasn't like as unexpected as I thought it would be. There's a direction that it takes about halfway through, no spoilers, which wasn't super unexpected but some of the twists and turns that it takes in the second half did actually catch me off guard a little bit and it was really entertaining to watch for reasons that I can't talk about because again, spoilers. But the finale of this film was extremely exciting and some of the heroic beats got me so hyped, especially with that Spider-Man theme, dun 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 dun, and Spider-Man swinging around doing some badass things. Oh, it's just so exciting, so fun. There's really nothing about this film that I didn't like and nothing about it that really annoyed me. 
But if you're going to push me for a negative, I'll say the villainous element wasn't super compelling. It wasn't like Vulture in Homecoming where you can really attach to him and understand him and sympathise with him. Didn't really do that in this film, but the villainous element of Far From Home was still really exciting and really awesome and I still really enjoyed it. Overall guys, I had such a good time with Far From Home. The teen romance element once again was really endearing, really heartfelt and really sweet and that mixed in with the superhero action just made for a really great blend of exciting, heart felt funny summer awesomeness. It's one of the best films of the summer and one of my favourite films of the year so far. And it's a really good epilogue to the Infinity Saga of the MCU and it sets up the next phase of the MCU really well and I can't wait to see what comes next. I don't quite know if I like this film more than Homecoming just yet, I'm gonna have to think about it for a little bit more but it's really really close. I love Spider-Man Far From Home and I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. And as always there are two post credit scenes, I say stay for both of them but especially the mid credit scene because oh my god thanks for watching as always guys let me know down there what you thought of spider-man far from home and if you want to see more of my stuff click on one of these in a second and i'll see you all next time